With the latest release of Python 3.11, we have some pretty serious improvements from the faster C Python team. This of course has to do with EP659, a specializing adaptive interpreter for Python. The language itself is getting new features, but what people are really talking about is the C Python Python interpreter that ships default with the language. There have been alternative Python interpreters that have been known to be much faster, like PyPy or Numba, depending on your use case for Python and if you're calling native functions or not. The goal of the Faster C Python team is to be on par with other fast implementations of scripting languages. Uh, V8 for JavaScript is cited as well as LuaJIT for Lua, because ultimately one scripting language isn't really faster than another. It comes down to how the code is actually executed by the machine, whether that be through a just-in-time compilation or just through the interpreter. The changes in 3.11 have to do with speeding up the interpreter, but there are plans to implement basic JIT and then build that out further. You can view that in the faster cpython plan.md. Uh, we are currently here. With each of these stages, there's approximately a 50% speed increase. So we're right here right now, and this would be 100% faster, roughly, than Python 3.9, and then we're going to in the future, get 3.12 and 3.13, which will incorporate just-in-time compilation to help speed things up, much like PyPy. LuaJIT is always what comes to mind when people think of a fast scripting language. Uh, Nintendo used it for their N64 emulation for patching ROMs on the Nintendo Switch Online service, but Lua has always been considered at least twice as fast as Python, if not faster than that, much closer to machine code. So I was curious how the code flow came out because when I was reading about this just-in-time compilation stuff, I, I was always under the assumption that bytecode was essentially just in time compilation. But the JIT that they're talking about, even with V8, they're talking about direct translation to machine code, which the C Python interpreter does not do. So here's an example. We have JavaScript's V8 engine from source code to the parser to an abstract syntax tree. This is going to be the same for every programming language. You need to tokenize the language and uh, be able to send it to the compiler of some kind for it to be interpreted correctly. But with JS, we have uh, two sections here where one goes to actually become optimized machine code. This is not a part of CPython, but in the future, as we saw, this is a, a optimization that they're looking into implementing in future releases. PyPy was doing something similar to this. Of course, PyPy is not 100% compatible with all we have an excerpt here. This compiled code isn't considered JIT code. The bytecode is generated and run by the Python virtual machine, but isn't directly translated into machine code. JIT removes interpreter overhead, which can cause slowdown. Python 3.12 will aim to compile small regions of specialized code using a relatively simple, fast compiler. And Python 3.13 will expand these JIT compiled regions. This is good not just for the benefits to how fast your code can run, but the faster and more efficient that the code is running, the less hardware you need and the less electricity consumption there is. So there's some good ethical and uh, monetary gains to this as well. It is worth noting that compared to CPython 3.10, which only used two bytes per instruction, the quickening step can increase the memory consumption of your program with 3.11. Uh, but it seems that it is largely unaffected in terms of memory use. Then they explain a little bit about the JIT deference to future versions. By implementing a specialized adaptive interpreter with inline data caches, we are implicitly rejecting many alternative ways to optimize CPython. However, it is worth emphasizing that some ideas, such as just-in-time compilation, have not been rejected, merely deferred. So as the Faster C project team continues to work down the roadmap, we'll continue to see some pretty impressive performance gains across the C Python interpreter. Being able to have performance on par with something like LuaJIT would be really nice, as the popularity of Python is much higher than something like Lua, and we will continue to follow the progress of the Faster C Python team. So. Congratulations to them, and I'm excited to see how fast they can get. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for future tech breakdowns like this. Thanks.